Hi, I'm Rachel Imbre, and I'm here with Shocker Street Speak, the video series that gives you an inside look into Shocker Nation. Today, we're going to cover some great local places for you to eat, get coffee, and truly immerse yourself in Wichita culture. So, let's get started. Hey, I'm Wayne Smith, and today I'm going to give you a rundown on some pretty incredible food places right here in Wichita. So right now we're at Mosley and Douglas Street, and this is a great area to find a variety of local food options. For instance, if you're in the mood for burgers, Dempsey's Burger Pub and The Anchor have you covered. Craving some Asian cuisine? Be sure to hit up Wasabi or Yokohama Ramen Joint for some of the best Asian cuisine in the city. And pizza is always a classic dish, so I have to give Ziggy's Pizza and Picasso's Pizzeria credit for doing it right. And if Mexican is your go-to, you can always try the Unamas Food Truck, Lena's Mexican Restaurant, or my personal favorite, District Taqueria. And I want to tell you a little bit more about why they're my favorite. I love District Taqueria because of the laid-back atmosphere, the delicious chips and queso, and the fast and friendly service I get every time I come here. Thank you. So now you're ready to settle in and check out some of our local food places on your own. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get back to finishing these taquitos, and I'm going to hand it off to Kelly to talk about coffee. Hey guys, I'm Kelly Deitch, and I'm a coffee fanatic. I'm someone who loves going to local coffee shops and trying out some coffee. We have a lot of great options in Wichita, and I'd love to show you around to some. If you want a Wichita staple, you should check out Reverie Roasters. Or for an upbeat atmosphere and a good place to people watch, Espresso to Go Go is your place. Or hit up Fairmount Coffee Company right across from campus. This is where you'll most likely find your friends, and it's just a short walk from campus. One of my personal favorites is Little Lion Cafe, and I'd love to tell you why. I love Little Lion because of their vibes, the natural light, and the fact that they have a loft. It provides a nice place not only to study, but also read. Now that you've got the scoop on our local caffeine offerings, you'll have to check them out for yourself. I'm going to finish my cup of coffee, but next up you'll hear about our local events and some opportunities to explore and get involved in the Wichita community. If you're new to the area, you should definitely check out the Keeper of the Plains. The Keeper is an iconic landmark located in downtown Wichita. The area also hosts a variety of beautiful and amazing local sculptures for you to enjoy as well. Wichita also has several traditions and a variety of events that allow you to get involved in the community. Hang out downtown the last Friday of every month for Final Friday, where you can interact with local artists, listen to some fantastic local musicians, and eat some delicious food from food trucks. Every October, our local film association hosts the Tallgrass Film Festival, which screens independent films by local filmmakers, as well as films from all across the world. Finally, we have my favorite tradition, Riverfest. Riverfest is a nine-day festival that takes place during the first week of June every year. During Riverfest, you get to experience what it truly means to be a Wichita. There are many food options available, great concerts to enjoy, fun activities to enjoy as well, all along the Arkansas River in the heart of downtown Wichita. Whether you attend as an attendee with friends or family, or you decide to volunteer as I do every year, you're sure to have a great time at Riverfest. And now that you have some starting points for where to eat, drink coffee, and events to attend in Wichita, you're ready to hop in and experience everything Wichita related for yourself. So have fun, be safe, and we'll see you next time on Shocker Street Speak.